I'm back. Welcome back to the channel, Vlogtober Day 2. We still in this thing, so yeah. I'm going to share some of my purchases from last month. Now, I don't consider myself to be a really big shopper. Um, I do get influenced sometimes, but I do what's best for me and my budget. And I'm not here to influence you because in this economy, I get it. Just know that I get it. But some of these things um, were things that I wanted to add to my wardrobe or things we needed for the house. So I have a couple of different categories. I have home, I have fashion or clothing, and I have some beauty items. I guess you consider beauty. So just a few things. Some of this was purchased within the last week, so you can probably still find it in store. Other things, I feel like they have it all year round, so you should be able to find it. So let me show you what I got. First off, baby's first stanley <laughs> i do have a fake stanley or i do have a tumbler from Temu that i was using all last summer but this is my favorite color in the whole wide world so when i saw it i had to grab it i got hubby one too um his favorite color is red and these came out i believe at the beginning of the month i'm loving it so far it's been my go-to water water holder <laughs> basically i mean i do drink a lot of water so it and it's helping me get more water in if simple modern had this color i would have been done had one but yeah but so this is one of my purchases something that's kind of boring and it may not apply to everybody and i'm being real real with y'all <laughs> this is a Furman power cord I told y'all I live outside of Houston and we were affected by Hurricane Barrel. We did not have a generator at the time. Since then, we have bought one off of eBay and we are still getting everything that we need to go with the generator. It um, We bought it refurbished for a very good deal, if I might add, and highly recommended by a generator group. I mean, it got, th it got that serious. I don't want to ever go through that again. That's a whole nother story time. Um, I did record footage from Hurricane Barrel and how we were affected, but baby, we can't go without heat and things like that ever again. So this is a power cord that goes to our generator. I found this last week at Target. Can y'all see it? Trying my best. One of my favorite videos is Mariah Carey saying, I'm going to do the best with what I got. I'll do the best I can with what I got. Oh. oh. And to me, that's saying the same thing. So I haven't put it out yet. I want to clean up my front porch and I may um decorate it a little bit, but I love that rug. That was $3. Was it $3? That was $3 last week at Target. I couldn't pass it up. And it's heavy. The girl tried to scan it. She was like, oh, this is good. And I was like, yeah, it's good. So this is a prep board. I got it from the dollar spot. No, Bullseye Playground at Target. And I got this with the intention of when I prepare my son's lunch, he eats the same thing every day. And I need a clear, um, well, not clear, but like I need good counter space or whatever. So I felt like this would be what I would use to prepare his while I prepare his lunch. I haven't used it yet. I've cleaned it. It's been sitting on the side. It just slides like, it just slides on the counter. Like it has, I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but you just slide it on the counter and look, you got workspace for, to prep your food. Now, I did not buy this, but it gets an honorable mention because hubby bought it for me. The new top of the brown cutting board in Houston it released last week in some stores and the store close to him by his job they had it so excited and he bought me two so I'm gonna use one I know it's a little bit smaller than people were expecting or compared to her other one but I don't know I like it I like it and it's an afro pick I don't know if you caught that it's an afro pick to me this is artwork so one's gonna be display and the other one's gonna be used. So yeah, that's that. I think that's all from household. Moving on to beauty. 
as you can see, I'm a lot girly. I am coming up on two years in November and I had made my own lock spray, but Reddit, everybody really likes this one. This is the Camille Rose. It is the Rose Rosemary Water Daily Strengthening Mist. And I really like this one. I am a sucker for personal nails. These bare nails. I bought these first. I can't do long nails. But I bought these first because they didn't have these. And the next week they had these. So these are the bare but better nails in nude shades. I don't know how this will look on me. But for like half the price, not bad. It's like $5. And Kiss Nails work for me. The nails I have on right now are Kiss Nails. And these are like an instant manicure. They come with the sticky tabs. So I have those. But wait, there's more. So when I bought these, I also bought these and these and these and these and these and these and these. Oh, and these. Like, these are really good. These are what I have on. So now that I know my size, like, I can really put these on within, like, 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? I did add glue just for extra security or whatever, but I like to change my nails every week. So these are perfect. And they short because I do a lot of typing. Yeah. And I know they were marked for $4.49, but they were actually cheaper than that. Actually, these came from CVS too. My bad. These didn't come from Target. Okay, so wait a minute. These came from CVS because I was getting ready for fall. A little fall vibe. But all of these with these little clear stickers on them. And if you follow me on TikTok, you saw these. <laughs> Nails. I'm good. At least through the end of the year, I'm good. Cause this is just what I bought in September. I have a problem. And I'm not ashamed, I'm not ashamed to admit that. I have a problem. Anyway. So I'm a 40 year old woman who does not know much about makeup. On the regular, if I wear makeup, I'm wearing the Lip Bars Tinted Moisturizer. Before that, I loved uh, Black Radiance's um, BB Cream. Chef's Kiss. And I say that, I say I don't know much about makeup, but baby, I looked flawless, okay? Just with some BB cream. I wish they would bring that back. Oh my God. Anyway, so I do want to do my makeup more. I want to learn more um, about application and stuff like that. And I purchased the Maybelline Fit Me. An influencer I follow, she, this is one of her go-to. So I got this one. I use the their online system to find my color and I feel like it um did pretty well so I bought this and then I bought this elf putty color correcting eye brightener it don't look like it on camera but I have dark circles they're not as bad as they used to be but this is a eye brightener this is supposed to correct that so um that's the shade I got I don't know if this is my right shade though. The lady said I can always bring it back, but I'm trying to work with it. So there's that. Also in beauty, I went to Trader Joe's last week. I got this vanilla lip mask. Vanilla scented. And I don't know if this is seasonal or not, but it smells really good. I use it every night. I keep it next to the bed. Also, um, this head to toe and everywhere in between moisturizing balm. Winter is coming. Even in Texas, you still need to be moisturized. So that's what it looks like inside. Just a bomb. And also from Dollar Tree, because I love me some Dollar Tree, I got these Yardley Body Mists. I got these to keep in the car, um, just in case I'm ever out and about, just to add to my little um, on-the-go bag. So this one is English Rose and English Rose and English Lavender. And I think I may give one to my daughter. She's becoming a little girly girl. So I may give her one, but I may just um, put these in the car. I'm not sure yet, but that's all I have for beauty. Yeah. 
Next up is tech. Now, I like technology. I, I like gadgets and stuff. And I saw Tech Me Out post this on her monthly faves and I had to get one. This is a USB, not USB, but it's a SD card holder. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, this holds six. This holds four micro SD cards and two SD cards. I'm trying to get in my, um, what do you call it? My, my vlogging era, my tech era. Well, I ain't gonna say my tech era. Cause like I said, I like tech, but somehow I've accumulated like four micro SD cards. One of them went bad and shout out to Samsung for giving me a free repla replacement. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Like you see like little slots. So it has slots where you just hold your SD cards. And so I saw these, I love Evil Eye Jewelry. And I saw these pieces on clearance at TJ Maxx. I can't remember how much I paid for them, but I had to have them. And when I looked them up, the brand, they retail for like way higher. I can't remember. I have to look and see and I'll post it on the screen somewhere, but I originally saw it on Poshmark, somebody was reselling it, and then I saw it on their actual website. Yeah, I did good. But this is a bracelet. Can y'all see that? An evil eye bracelet. It's so pretty. So pretty. That's one, and it came in a three, three pack, a set of three. Not all of them are evil eye, but this is pink opal. And... We have a crescent moon. I'm trying. Is that pink opal too? That's not pink opal. Is that pink opal on there? No. But you can't even see it. There we go. So that was a three pack, and I thought that was so cute. And then on top of that, one of the Michaels ads on Facebook got me. Little known fact: I used to make jewelry, um, gemstone. Um, crystals, necklaces. I do have some gemstone bracelets that I've made, but the act got my attention and it was some charms. I have it on right now. I don't know if y'all can see. Can't really see it. I love evil eye jewelry. No, you can't see that. Let me take it off. I love evil eye jewelry and I had the materials to put this together so why can i get this off here we go what's that so it was the bracelet and the charm and they're all evil eyes how cute and you see that it's like multicolored how cute i've worn this like every day what's next Okay, next is clothes. And I didn't buy a lot. Okay, this may be TMI, but I'm gonna share it anyway. Thanks, these are empty. Thanks. Period panties. I found them on clearance at Walmart last week for five and six dollars. They only had so many in my size and I got what I needed. Switching over to Target, just about everything else came from Target. You know, it is Hispanic Heritage Month. And from Target, I got this Frida Kahlo tee. So cute. What else did I get? That was on one trip. These, pretty much everything was done on separate trips. I got these basic t-shirts. They were marked down to $5. Yeah, $5. And I got them in different, no, okay. Yeah, same size. Just the basic boxy cut t-shirt. And believe it or not, this is an extra small. But it fits good on me. It fits like a medium on me. I guess it's supposed to be oversized, but I'm trying to learn how to dress for my body. And oversized really doesn't do it for me. But I like the fit of these. Like, I can throw this on with some jeans and just go. I can dress them up and down. So, I got orange and I got green. That was that. I got this metallic satin maxi skirt that I can't wait to wear this fall. See, now this is something um, I had to figure out how I'm gonna wear it. 
I know I can dress it up and I know I can dress it down. And I know I can wear it every day of the week if I could. If I, you know, but because I had seen it before and I couldn't, I couldn't, I didn't have a vision for it. But now I got a vision for it. So it was on clearance, $7.50 at Target. Now this last piece of clothing, I am going to see Usher soon. And I have this idea in my head. I don't know if this is going to work or not. But good thing about Target and the red card, I have like 90 days to return this. These are some lace pants. Actually, it's a cover-up. It's a swimsuit cover-up. Um, I have an idea for it. Don't know. Don't know. We'll see if it's going to come to fruition. The sun is setting and I got lines across my face. But I'm almost done. Okay. These last two are honorable mentions because I didn't buy them. But if you like sneakers, you may be able to find them at your local Nike outlet. So, so my husband knows that my favorite shoes, my favorite Nikes are Jordan 1s and Air Max. And he went to the alley last week. How nice are these? And he knows I love bright colors, so... These are laced up. He said they were on the clearance wall. They were already 20% off. The clearance wall was already 20% off and then they had an additional something off. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't ask for the receipt. I just said thank you. And they also come with blue laces. So I don't know what these are called. I don't know. Like you know how they have different names or whatever. Either way. First. Then second. He got these from the outlet. He said, I think these were the only ones they had. Oh, the metallic. That swoosh, though. That swoosh. Mm. And these are the comfort ones. I think. Women's Air Jordan 1, Zoom Air Comfort 2. I have a couple of other um, comfort shoes that I, that I really, really love. And you notice the difference. These came with, oh, I didn't even show you the tongue. Can y'all see that? The metallic tongue. And it came with these laces as well. So yeah. Okay, so those are my recent purchases. Um, some purchased by me, some were not, but you know, things that I got last month. So, if you're interested in any of those, I hope they're still in the store. But again, I'm not trying to influence you to buy anything. I just want to share what I got. And if you want something, maybe they still have it in store. If you have any questions about what I got, drop them in the comments. Um, I really didn't know what I was going to post today, but that just, I was scanning my receipts <laughs> And that just kind of triggered me to share what I got. So hopefully you found that helpful. Talk to y'all tomorrow.